Good morning. It's a beautiful day to fly here in Texas, so let's jump in Little Red and fly to Meridian, Mississippi. I'll see you in the sky. Good morning, Sugarland Ground, Cherokee 773 in November. I'd like to pick up IFR to Meridian, Keith Field, Mike Echo, India, please. Baby. 773 November, Sugarland Ground. Good morning. You're clear to the Meridian Airport. Via the Alexandria 3 departure. Alexandria VOR, then direct. Maintain 2,000. Expect 7,000, one zero minutes after. Departure frequency is 123.8. Squawk 2753. All right, cleared to Meridian via the Alexandria 3 departure, Alexandria VOR, then direct, climb maintain 2,000. I'll expect 7,000 within one zero minutes. Frequency 123.8, squawk 2753 for 773 in November. Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another flight. If you're new here, my name is Kay. My airplane is Low Red. She is a Piper Cherokee 180. So we have a lot of flying to do today. I'm very, very excited. We are departing Sugarland Regional Airport outside of Houston, Texas and we are going to fly to Meridian, Mississippi. Sugarland Grand, Cherokee 773, November holding short of Foxtrot with the weather ready to taxi. Cherokee 773, November, Sugarland Ground, runway 35, taxi via Foxtrot Alpha. 35 via Foxtrot Alpha, 773, November, thanks. I'm really looking forward to today's flight. We do currently have a 13 knot tailwind all the way to Mississippi. So we're gonna be in the air for a little less than three hours as of right now. I did get my tanks completely chopped off this morning. So we have five hours worth of fuel on board. Set my parking brake here. We've got 2000 set heading 350 bugs. So let's knock out this checklist. All right, so brakes are set. I'm holding my tow brakes and I've also got my parking brake set. Fuel proper tank, 25 and 25. I visually inspect my tanks before every single flight and I do know that they are completely topped off, so we are good there. Trim for takeoff. I'm gonna use my electric trim, bring that to the middle of neutral here, and now I'm gonna do a flight control check. So all that means is I'm gonna push and pull my control yoke forward and back like this and also roll it to the side just like this, just to make sure I have freedom of movement. And now I'm gonna look outside the airplane and make sure that we have correct movement. We tested our brakes and our rudder pedals while we were taxiing, so flight controls are free and correct. Instruments, we have blue over brown, our wings are level, ball is centered, airspeed indicates zero. We are within 75 feet of field elevation and not indicating a climb or descent. HSI aligns with magnetic compass within 10 degrees and there are still no bubbles, cracks, or leaks. And all of our backup instruments correspond as well. So that looks great. Mixture best power, primer in and locked, and now it's time for the magneto check. So I'm gonna keep holding those tow brakes and we're gonna bring our power up to 2000 RPM. Right magneto check. Perfect. Back to both. Left magneto check. Great. And right back up to that 2000. Car peat on. Small drop there, car peat off. Beautiful, and power to idle. Flaps are zero, electric fuel pump on, mixture is best power, car peat is off, pedo heat is off. HSI still lives magnetic compass within 10 degrees. It's amazing that that never changes. It's never changed for me, but that's why we have to check it so much, just in case. Doors latched. I'll close my window here in just a moment. We are squawking 2753 as instructed, landing light on, and the time is currently 1042 AM. So we should be getting over to Mississippi probably around, I'd say roughly two o'clock because we're going to account for some possible radar vectors and maybe even shooting an instrument approach to come into land. Sugarland Tower, Cherokee 773 in November is taxiing to hold short 35, ready for departure. 773 in November on departure nice. 5, runway heading, maintain 2000, runway 35, clear for takeoff. All right, we're gonna jump on that center line here. All gauges are officially up in the green and looking good. I do know that we have quite a bit of wind on this takeoff, so I'm expecting to account for that. Final is clear, runway is clear, and we are ready to go. In, uh, November at 9 o'clock, I'll need you to bring it on in toward the runway. I got a couple of uh, aircraft out there that are kind of coming behind you. Full power. Airspeed's alive, all gauges are in the green. There's 70, and let's pull back. As I suspected, a little bit of wind. Not too bad, though. 
7773 in November, you can contact Houston Departure Good flight now. Over to Departure, have a good one, 773 in November. Good morning, Houston Departure, Cherokee 773 in November, checking in, heading 350, climbing through 1200. Cherokee 773 in November, Houston Departure, welcome, ready to contact, climb and maintain 3000. Climb maintain 3000, 773 in November, thank you. 3000. Let's climb at 115, autopilot on, heading mode active. Let me know when you pick up information, you Yankee there, Connor, expect runs 3 2. All gauges are still on the green and looking good. Number 7 8, November, your traffic's behind you, no factory, said you have the airport in sight there, 11 12 o'clock, keys are on. Airport in sight for 7 8, November. For 7 8, November, thanks, clear for the visit approach, 3 6. That 7 8, November is throwing me because we are 7 7 3 8, November. Apparently, I need to say my tail number a lot more slowly when I do videos for y'all because everybody thinks I'm not saying my whole tail number every time. I promise you I am, I just tend to talk fast. Apologies. Class Bravo airspace, come maintain V4 at 3,000. V4 at 3,000. So we are level at 3,000 feet. Right now our indicated airspeed is 137, ground speed's 124. So we do have a headwind. As we continue to climb though, we will actually get into that tailwind. All of our gauges are in the green, looking fantastic, and we've burned two gallons of fuel so far. So I do not have air conditioning in this airplane, but luckily we do have heat, so it's going to keep us nice and warm. We're at 42 degrees outside now, so not too bad, but we're also not flying in the direction of the sun, so it is going to stay kind of chilly for a little while. Oh well. Yeah, that is definitely a fire. Holy cow. I still don't know exactly what happened, but I was happy to be able to stay away from the smoke, and if you listen closely, you'll hear another pilot do the exact same thing. November 3, 8 November, turn 10 degrees to the right. 10 to the right, 773 in November. All right, that puts us at heading 360 now. So we are now 10 degrees closer to the direction that we actually want to fly. That's a good sign. Of course, that puts us directly into the headwind because the winds are coming from 360 at 19 right now. My CHT temperature is currently 359 and I'm feeling good about that. So I am gonna lean out the mixture just a little bit. Just till I hear a little bit of engine roughness. Which is right about there. Enriching that slightly. And now we're burning about 10 gallons or so per hour, so I'm good with that. I'll keep an eye on my CHT, make sure everything else is looking good too, but about 10 gallons per hour is what I expected, so that works. Okay, so with the mixture laid out, our CHT is now at 376. That's still looking really good to me, and RPMs are currently set to 2550. All of our gauges are in the green, we're still level at 3,000 feet, and our airspeed indicated is still 137, so we're doing well. Houston approach 9040 Kilo, can we get 10 degrees or 20 degrees left for, uh, we got some smoke out here, we're going to try to avoid. Number 40 Kilo, we're out to turn 20 degrees left, let me know when you're able to turn back to the uh, southwest there. 20 left and we'll rise for 9040 Kilo. So that smoke that they're talking about is exactly what I was looking at when I got on the runway. It grabbed my attention because it was just thick, black, dark smoke. So hopefully everybody's okay. November 3, 8 November, check in on your heading. Count of Houston approach 119.7. Good day. 119.7, take care. 3, 8 November. Okay, Good morning, Houston. Cherokee 773 in November, checking in 3000, heading 360. Number 7738 November Houston approach, Roger. Well, that was easy. Nice. No updated altimeter, no climbing. I'm bumped. I was hoping we were going to get to climb, but you know, we make the best of it. It's fine. Right heading 020, climb and maintain 5000. Right heading 020, climb and maintain 5000. 7738 November, thank you. So we're in a slight right turn here to heading 020. We only turned by about 20 or so degrees, but still nice. And now we're going to climb, I think at about 115 or so, up to 5,000 feet. And I'm going to go back to mixture full rich for our climb. All gauges are still remaining in the green. And once we level off at 5,000 feet, it'll probably be time to switch our tanks, which is totally cool. Add in a little bit of right rudder here, just for the climb. And we are currently climbing up at <laughs> 1,200 feet per minute at 115. So we're going to slow that down a little bit. <laughs> That's a pretty powerful climb. Love it. Just try to get to that 500 feet per minute climb. And that looks pretty close. So when I checked 
the weather this morning before filing my flight plan. That's how I select my altitude is actually based off of winds. So we are supposed to have about a 13 knot tailwind. Now we still have 2,500 feet to go before we level off at the altitude we selected, which was 7,000 feet. So fingers crossed that that wind is still there when we get up there. If not, this might be a longer flight than I anticipated, but oh well. It's flight time. Why not? Still better than driving. <laughs> feet away from our selected altitude. So we are leveling off at 5,000 feet. Our airspeed is increasing, which is a good sign. Our heading is still 020. All gauges are in the green. I'm going to bring those RPMs to about 2,600. Let them settle for a second, and then we will lean out our mixture. Our CHT is at 375, looking fantastic and it is in fact time to switch fuel tanks. So let's lean out that mixture here real quick. Keeping an eye on all my gauges, fuel flow is looking good. There's that engine roughness, so slightly enriching that here. And that puts us at between 10 and 11 gallons per hour. I'm good with that. Okay, so quick update. Right now, our indicated airspeed is 135 and ground speed is 128. So we do still have a little bit of a headwind, but not near as bad, which bodes well because as we continue to climb in altitude, we should start seeing that wind shift to a tailwind. Four miles. Number three, November, clear direct music. Clear direct music, 7738 November, thank you. Wanted to make sure I said the right thing before I called that back. It's spelled differently. It's spelled M-U-S-I-Q, not C. And for my aviators out there, let's see how fast I can do this. Mike Uniform Sierra India Quebec. Boom. Nailed it. <laughs> so I'm going over here to the GPS. I've got music here. Direct, enter, enter. Now. Go ahead for 773 in November. 73 in November, clear direct music. Oh, I called you back. I must have been stepped on. Apologies. 773 in November, direct music. Thank you. Guess he never heard it. Oh, well. No harm, no foul. And I will say, by us making that turn direct to music, it turned us 35 degrees. Our winds are now almost exactly the same. So our indicated airspeed is 136. Our ground speed is 138. We're climbing maintain 7,000. Yes. Climb maintain 7,000. Sub 73 in November. Thank you. We now have 1,000 feet to go until we reach our uh, selected altitude, which is actually our final altitude. And we should be able to stay up to, at 7,000 feet until we come in and start our initial descent to come in and land in Mississippi. So, yeah, kind of nice. Cherokee 773 November, would you like to stay on the route or would you like a shortcut? I would love a shortcut for 773 November. Cherokee 773 November, after music, to the Meridian Airport. After music, clear direct to Meridian Airport, 773 November. Thank you very much. That never happens. I'm so excited. That is fantastic. We currently have four and a half minutes until we get to music, and then as soon as we hit that, boom, we will be direct to the airport. Our hours, our time in round, that's what I meant to say. Our time in round is currently two hours, 40 minutes, so we will see how much faster this is when we get to go direct. Are the uh, cameras rolling today? Indeed they are. How are you? Doing well. How are you? I am fantastic. Would you like to say anything special for the video? I uh, know. That's all right. I'll, I'll just say hi, Mom. We have one minute, 15 seconds until we reach music. And as soon as we get there, we will be going direct. Our time in route now is 2 hours, 33 minutes. So subtracting that one minute, 2 hours, 32 minutes. I'm going to make a prediction here. I'm going to say that we're going to be 2 hours, 8 minutes to our destination once we go direct. So go ahead and leave your guess in the comments too. Let's see who's right. Oh, we'll do a quick speed check too. 130 miles per hour indicated, 158 over the ground, still 7,000 feet. We're about to hit music here. There we go. And now we'll go direct to the field. Gonna turn us right back here to the right. 
and I got way too overzealous. We're at two hours, 22 minutes. So it saved us about 10 minutes, which is still nice. 16. And that might continue to drop a little bit as we stabilize, we'll find out. Okay, it, it is still dropping. We're at two hours, 20 minutes now. I'll take that. That'll put us there, let's see, quick math. That'll put us there at about 150. Take about a 20 to 30 minute break. Get out of there no later than 2.30. I think that'll be good. And then uh, then we'll be on to the next flight. <laughs> so we have reached the two hour mark. We're actually at one hour 58 minutes now because <laughs> the wind keeps changing on us, which is cool. We are about to switch our tanks. We have burned uh, roughly, uh, quick math here, let's see, roughly 15 gallons or so, which is about right because uh, even our iPad says that we've been in the air for an hour and 28 minutes. So that's looking good. Gallons per hour, we're still burning between 10 and 11. RPMs are fluctuating between about 2630 and 2650, which is perfect. The CHT temperature is 386, which is fantastic. Our airspeed is 132 miles per hour indicated, 154 over the ground, and we're still level at 7,000 feet. But I think now is a good time for us to have a little snack. A couple of hard-boiled eggs, some green grapes, a couple of mini baby pepperonis, and some nuts and raisins. So it looks good, pretty healthy for the most part. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna have a little snack. Hopefully you've been enjoying the video so far. Just curious, do you prefer green grapes or the purple ones? I like the green ones because they tend to be a little bit more sour. I think the purple ones are really sweet, but leave me a comment, let me know, I'm curious. So we just switched our fuel tanks. We have 15 gallons in our left tank and 20 in our right. I switch every 60 minutes when I'm actually in the air. However, after takeoff, I switch after 30 minutes just to make sure I don't have any problem and to keep those tanks nice and even on climb out. Everything is looking good though. We're burning about 11 gallons per hour, so I'm not too mad about it. I would like to be a little bit less, but I also want to go faster. So indicated is 131, ground speed's 152. And time to destination is one hour, 54 minutes. So we're not doing too bad at all. I'm not a fan of the baby pepperonis. They're very spicy. I feel like normal sized pepperonis are not, but these ones are very spicy. I'll call uh, arrival. Hit one four, Roger. And uh, all, I got active, all I got active is the uh, Zion Hills and uh, Fullerton 8 and 9. Copy, Bolton 89 is, uh, appreciate it, you get on for If you've been following me for a while, you already know this, but I have a few FBOs that I really... I'm a poor crap in the, uh, vicinity of Leesville, change of... Every time. Every single time I try to tell y'all a story. So as I've mentioned, I have a couple of FBOs that I really love going to. Galaxy FBO is one of them over at Conroe, and they also have one over in Addison, Texas, near Dallas. But I want to know who your favorite FBO is. Is it Signature? Is it Millionaire? Is it Atlantic? Is it just a small FBO that there's only one of them? And if so, if they're really that fantastic, leave me the identifier of the airport so I can check them out too. But yeah, let me know because Obviously, with as much traveling as I'm going to be doing, you know, for the rest of the year and into next year, I need to know where I need to go, and I also need to know who I should avoid. So if you have an opinion, definitely leave it in the comments and let me know. Can't wait to hear what y'all have to say. And if you have a story behind your reasoning, you have to include that too, because I need to know what's going on. I obviously want to be able to support y'all like you support me. So if you have a story, you have to include that too, okay? All right, so we have been in the air for about an hour and 45 minutes so far. We have about an hour and 40 minutes left. 230 nautical miles, so we're not doing too bad. RPMs are at 2660 CHT cylinder head temperature. A few of you asked me what that meant. My apologies. CHT means cylinder head temperature. It is 385 degrees. EGT, otherwise known as exhaust gas temperature, is fluctuating between about uh, 1470, excuse me, and 1480, so that looks pretty good. Oil pressure, oil temperature, fuel pressure gauges are all in the green. We're burning about 11 gallons per hour right now, and we have 15 gallons in our left tank, 18 gallons in our right. Indicated airspeed is 133, ground speed is 156, and of course, we're still level at 7,000 feet. 
So here probably in about an hour is when we can expect to start our initial descent to come into land in Mississippi. So far it's been a really nice relaxing flight. Hopefully I didn't just jinx us. We'll find out together, I guess. I am gonna go ahead and pop in my weather frequency. Let's see, so we are going to Mike Echo India, Key Field. And our weather frequency is 126.475. So I'm gonna put that here on my backup gauge. Beautiful, and switch that. I mean, doesn't get much more relaxing than this. Not to mention, I keep seeing all the cars stuck at red lights and it just makes me laugh. <laughs> I figured now would be a good time to go ahead and check in. So we have one hour until we reach our destination. We still have about 130 nautical miles to our destination. We can't quite pick up the weather yet, but we are getting a lot closer. And overall, it's been a really easy flight, so I'm happy. I also really need to use the restroom. Apparently, I drank too much coffee before I left the house. So that will be the first thing that I do when I land. Bob, 242, Eastern Center, Roger, Schwab, 2763. One thing I think is so cool, especially flying to like different states within the same day, is how different the landscape looks. I mean, I love Houston, obviously, buildings, trees, lots of roads. Then I was flying over water, then I was flying over basically desert, and now we're flying directly over trees. I just think it's really cool to see how the landscape changes. I don't know, maybe that's just me. Let me know if you think that's pretty cool too. So I wanted to let you know, I have been looking into getting the shoulder harnesses installed in low red. They are a little bit more pricey than I thought. So right now I am just doing some uh, price checking and talking to some different companies, but I am going to be putting those in the airplane. So thank you to everybody for the recommendation. I do appreciate it. And if you have a company that you recommend for shoulder harnesses, or you have a design in mind for the interior for Lil Red, leave a comment and let me know. The temperature is now 40 degrees. It is slowly starting to drop again. It got a lot cooler in the airplane, so I do have the heat almost completely on. It's about halfway right now, but I'm glad that I wore warm comfy clothes on today's flight because I would have been freezing. Man, this frequency is awful. Three November contact NIFA Center one three two point five. One three two point five. Have a nice day for you in November. I forgot which approach we're talking to. I'll just say approach. Good afternoon, approach Cherokee seven seven three eight November checking in seven thousand. Memphis. Seven three eight November Center Jack Delta three zero two seven. Three zero two seven 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 three November. Thank you. Indicated airspeed still one thirty one. Ground speed one fifty two. All gauges are still in the green. I can't get over what a beautiful day it has been to fly. This is crazy. I guess it's really not that crazy though because I did an entire weather brief last night before I decided to fly today. So I did know it was gonna be a nice day, but even ATC hasn't been super busy. They've all been super nice. So I'm a happy camper. Thank you. I'm not the only pilot that says thank you on the radios. There's your proof right there. We are about 45 minutes away from our destination airport, so we're gonna go ahead and see if we can pick up the weather. I don't think it's gonna come through very clearly, but let's take a listen and find out, shall we? Moment of truth. <laughs> we'll try again in a little bit. Center, Lima, Memphis Center, Hattiesburg, Alzheimer's 3025. Still getting colder, 38 degrees now. Oh, sorry, 37 degrees now. And <laughs> I'm good around like the 50, 60 mark. That's a little chilly. Our ground speed is 134 knots and 154 miles per hour. So we're making really good time, which is nice. All right, so here's just a quick check. 
VFR, the last check at least that uh, fourth flight was able to get was VFR, winds coming from 260 at 11 knots, 10 statue miles visibility, sky clear. Pattern altitude will be 1,300 feet. They have fuel, they have all the procedures that we would need. We've got all of our frequencies, and it looks like runway 22 is best winds. I agree with that because the winds are coming from 260. And that runway is 4,599 feet long by 150 feet wide, so obviously plenty of room for us to come in and land. Another message for switch tanks. It was really funny when I was in flight school, every once in a while we'd jump in an airplane and we'd be getting ready to go for a flight and somebody would have gone into the settings and renamed the message so it wouldn't say switch fuel tanks, it would say something else, usually inappropriate. And uh, <laughs> it was always, it always kind of uplifted you when you got in the airplane because you got a nice little laugh. Then of course the instructors would go in and change it, but that's kind of a fun little thing. So I could really name that anything I wanted. I'm going to leave it with what it is now because there's no reason to change it. But yeah, we got, there were some interesting, uh, <laughs> people chose to put in some interesting messages. Yeah. I wish I had proof of those because man, they probably make you chuckle. Six contact Meridian approach, local channel 19 or 120.5. All right, so we are about 80 nautical miles away, which is where I said we were going to test and see if we could pick up our weather. We're still at 7,000 feet, so let's see. I hit COM2, nothing yet, but if we hit that test button. Not yet. That's center plot of 432, Romeo Bravo is on the missed approach up. Anybody that's watching this, do you fly a jet? I'm always so curious. If you do, you need to tell me what it is right now. And if you're ever looking for a passenger or somebody to sit in the right seat of your jet. We're about 12 nautical miles closer than we were, so let's see if we can pick up that weather one more time. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off my music now because I know my initial descent is gonna be starting here soon. So come to. Okay, it's there, but it's too faint. I'm not gonna blast us by turning that volume up, but we're getting closer. So we'll try it again in about probably 10 to 15 nautical miles, and hopefully it'll be crystal clear. I think it's really funny. Whenever I used to do these trips, especially if Pops was flying with me, you know, he'd bring one small duffel bag and he would be he would be absolutely shocked when I came downstairs with a full suitcase. Now he doesn't even question it. There was one time specifically last year that we flew to Florida and we really weren't filming that much. So I don't even think I ever posted a video about this. We stayed in Florida for about five days, had a total blast. And when it was time to go home, it was a gorgeous cloudy morning. And when I say gorgeous cloudy morning, I mean the clouds were like a thousand feet. And then once you got up above them, you didn't even have to worry about them anymore. Obviously, right? Super nice. We get to the airport, everything's going as planned. We get the airplane packed up, we're holding short of the runway, we've already called for our departure clearance, all this jazz, and we do our car heat test. And it doesn't do anything. It doesn't even have a small drop in RPM. So we turn it off, and we try it again, and same thing. So our carb heat's busted. Well, we need that when we're gonna be flying in and out of clouds just in case we have any carburetor icing. And this happened to be on a Saturday. Well, the maintenance shop wasn't open on Saturday. They weren't open on Sunday. They weren't even open on Monday. <laughs> so we ended up getting stuck until Wednesday because they were finally able to start working on the airplane on Tuesday morning and they had to order a part. They had it overnighted, so we were able to leave on Wednesday. But those three extra days we didn't plan on. But me, being the overpacker that I am, I didn't have to go buy a brand new wardrobe. I had enough clothes to last me another week as I needed to. We are now 23 minutes away, 52 nautical miles, so let's try to pick up that weather again. Special observation. Wind 26011. Weather is better than 5,005. Temperature 11. Dew point minus 02. Altimeter 3024. Okay, so they are using runways 1 and 4, which actually works out great for us because 
that would pretty much put us on a straight end for runway four if they give us that. The RNAV for runway 22 is unavailable, which is totally cool because obviously it's bright blue skies and sunny outside. So we don't even need to shoot an instrument approach for this airport. 20 minutes to our destination. Hopefully this guy's gonna start us descending soon. We currently have a 25 mile per hour tailwind, which is why I'm not asking to descend just yet. Trying to get as close as I can before I descend back into headwind. I wonder if he forgot to switch us. November, descend and maintain 5,000. Descend maintain 5,000, 773 November, thanks. All right, we'll take it. That gives us 2,000 feet. So vertical speed will descend by 500 feet per minute. We're going to slightly enrich in that mixture and pull some of that power back. November 7738, November, contact Memphis Center, one, one, correction, contact Meridian Approach, 120.5. 120.5, have a good one, 38 November. Yes. Center Cherokee 773, in November, checking in, 5,000. 38 November, anyway, that I could, uh, you need to increase your speed just a little bit to your number one three approach. Was that last call for 773 November? 3 November 8 firm. Roger, you're coming in a bit broken. Um, any chance you can repeat that for me? I turn my volume up. 3 November, any way that I can get you to speed up just a little bit to your number one three approach? This is about as fast as I can go. I just leveled off and my RPMs are about 2650, so unfortunately not for 773 in November. Roger. Thank you anyway. Ah, oh, that is such a sweet, sweet view. On the iPad here, we are officially below the 10 minute mark. 9 minutes, 45 seconds and dropping. Love to see it. I think the only reason why I'm like, it's okay to get back on the ground is because I'm about to go fly again in an hour anyway. <laughs> So that'll be nice. Three in November, descend and maintain 2100. Send and maintain 2100, 773 in November. All right, make sure full rich, pull a little bit more of that power back. All gauges are in the green, CHT is 356. Once we level up at 2100, we will verify with our fuel gauges that it is time to switch tanks. And everything else is looking great. Seven minutes now to our destination. We're descending a little bit quicker to try to get to the field. Bridge one, if you save the climb out structures again. Bridge one, climb outs are left 280, climbing team 3000. Looks like, nope, that wouldn't make any sense. I'm not sure who is coming in. I don't see anybody right now. But she wanted to give us number one for the field, but I don't see any competitors anyway, so. <laughs> Currently descending at 152 miles per hour. 070, that should be a straight in vector for you. 070, appreciate it. 773, in November. All right, I'm looking for the field. Of course, it's going to get bumpy on us. Disrespectful. Oh man. Ah. All right, my our rough air or maneuvering speed is 129, so I'm pulling some of that power back just because of all these random bumps we just hit. Rude. All right, tower was 133.975. Now we've got that in there. Beautiful. Pilatus 100, Yankee Charlie, Meridian Approach. We can't also 3022. A thousand feet to go until we reach our selected altitude. In this case, 2100, which is exactly what she gave us. So that works. 38 November, do you have the field in place? Affirmative for 773 at November. 38 November, clear visual approach from my four. Contact Key Tower 133.97. 133.97, have a good day, 773 in November. Thank you. Good afternoon, Key Field, Cherokee 773 in November, checking in. Cherokee 773, November, Key Tower, report 4 mile final, runway 4. 
Report a four-mile final runway four seven seven three eight of everything. final then we will turn to heading 040 don't see the runway yet but i do have the field for sure so we're currently on a 10 mile final so in six more miles we will make that radio call and advise that we are on our four mile final and that should be when she actually officially clears us to come in and land Heater all the way up now. Oh yeah, much better. All right, so the tanks don't want to fully stabilize, but we are going to switch. Electric fuel pump on, fuel pressure starts in the green and still in the green, looks good there. Brake tank. Fuel pressure remains in the green and looks good. Electric fuel pump off and fuel pressure is still in the green, fantastic. And I've got the runway in sight. Perfect. All the markings in sight. Anyway. There's seven miles. Three minutes, 14 seconds till we actually land. Might be a little longer than that because we're going to slow down. <laughs> Once we get past all of these trees, so we can put some flaps in and all that jazz too. Still an hour and a half of fuel remaining too, so we did well on that as well. Traffic pattern altitude's 1300. Go ahead and hand fly and start that descent. There's five miles. Cherokee 38 November, runway four, wind 350 at eight, cleared to land. Runway four, cleared to land. Thank you for the wind check. 773 in November. All right, mixture's full rich. Electric fuel pump landing lighter on. All gauges are in the green. We are on the fullest tank coming in to land. Got the field in sight. Looks good to me. No traffic to follow, which is nice. And we have about 500 feet to go to reach our pattern altitude. I wanted to stay high because of all these bumps though, so I'm glad that I did. We did well, we did well. Oh yeah. Ah. Two hundred feet to go until we reach that altitude. Starting to slow ourselves down. No Pappy or Vazzy, but that's okay. We don't need it today. We are VFR. And I have about 1,800 landings in my logbook anyway, so all good. RPMs are going to come down to 1,800. Keep slowing myself down. And we'll pull power back just a little bit more, getting that wide arc here. Almost there. And there she is. First notch of flaps, 10 degrees. Second notch, 25 degrees.
Charlie's Tower bottom one. Very, very Charlie's Tower okay. floor on my one. There we go. We're gonna roll on to the next one. We made it! If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, smash that like button. It helps the channel. Thanks for hanging out with me, and I'll see you on the next flight. Bye!